evening, everyone. You're going to hear from 10 Stanford faculty, who each of whom, in two minutes or less, will tell you about the biomedical innovation they think is going to change the way we live over the next 10 years. The innovation I'm going to talk about is a new set of uh, novel diagnostic tests based on genomic technology. We will reverse aging. I'm talking about regenerating one's own tissues. In the future, we'll be able to combine your data to create a much richer understanding of your own personal health than we've ever been able to do in the past. So just imagine if your embedded brain monitor warned you that you were developing brain signals associated with, say, Parkinson's disease, depression, Alzheimer's disease. Wouldn't it be great if at the beginning of that operation, the surgeon could harvest stem cells from your body and those cells at the end of the operation would repair, replace, or regenerate the tissues that you needed to have a successful outcome. Enter synthetic biology and some of the work, wonderful work that Drew Endy's lab is doing, um, actually creating synthetic um, DNA and inserting that into microbes and actually opening up the opportunity of personalizing our microbiome. You all know that ALS is a terrible degenerative disease where people gradually over time lose their muscular ability. Imagine that we could do something about that, that we could, through reading brain signals, allow those people to run devices in the outside world, to run computer cursors, to move robotic arms, to even reanimate their own limbs. Sounds like science fiction, but this is exactly what my laboratory is doing. We have to take cost and inefficiency out of the healthcare system, and we can do this through technology, but we have to point our young inventors in that direction. This is the Embrace Infant Warmer. It's an infant incubator for the developing world. There's three main components. There's the warm pack, which just has phase change material. It's heated in the heater for about 30 minutes, the clinically appropriate temperature, and it goes in the back of the baby wrap and stays that temperature for six hours. This is a cognitive test to determine your ability to track smooth pursuit of a moving object. It's going to run the test six times, and then a score will appear. So you're looking at an augmented reality version of Rodan's hand, you're looking inside its hands to see the anatomy itself. And so you can see right here there are some broken bones. They believe that these, this sculpture actually has three broken bones of the metacarpals in the palm, a lateral fracture, a fracture of the head, and then a spiral fracture. So what you're seeing on the computer screen is the left eye and the right eye, but when you place the glasses on, you actually get, each eye gets the unique view. So. You can see it uh, in stereo, stereoscopic vision. Here we have dropped you inside the head. Here we are, you're looking at the inner ear here. You see the cochlea there, the eardrum, the auditory ossicles, the smallest bones in your body. Oh. 